face players like this, you know, um, a few times a year. There's, there's a, a few elite pass rushers in this league, and uh, he's one of them. So you have to be aware of, of where he is. If you don't control him, you know, a good, good job of uh, having a plan of attack, then uh, he can wreck a game. So definitely a guy that we want to have him in mind where he's at at all times. Brian, what do you see as the overall challenge for you guys this week against this team? I mean, number one against the run, also top ten against the pass. Just kind of how does it all seem to yeah, they're a good defense all the way around. They're playing good football. I think it all starts with their front. They're doing a really good job up front of um, getting after the quarterback in the pass game and and um, playing around the line of scrimmage in the run game. So uh, I think it all starts there. Then I think their secondary does a good job of playing off of that, being aggressive, and making plays on the football. So uh, all the way around, it's a good football team, good front, and uh, sorry, excuse me, a good defense. And we're gonna have to do a good job of executing. That's what it comes down to is executing. Um, every man's gonna have to to win their one on ones and. And execute, and um, if we do that, then we'll be in good shape. How much better do you feel like you have to play than you have the last couple of weeks? Well, you have to play better. You have to take care of the football. That's what it comes down to. Is uh, you know really just eliminating uh, the turnovers. Those those turnovers we had at the end of the game that I had at the end of the game last week really hurt us. So you know you eliminate those, and uh, we'll be in good shape. When you're chalking that up to bad decisions that you would like to have back, or, what, or how would you describe? Yeah, at the end of the day, it's a decision, right? Every everything you do is a decision. So, um, yeah, the, the first one obviously bad decision. The second one probably a bit too aggressive, uh, moving up in the pocket like that. Um, third and twenty, you know, probably should have just ran it and then uh, and moved on and punted and uh, moved on to the next play. And so, in your mind, easily correctable. Yeah, no question, no question. It's something we talk through and um, we're going to continue to work in practice of, of putting ourselves in those situations and. You know, having the, the right reaction when you get in those situations again. Is that anti-intuitive to, to all right, give up this play? There's a next play to, to just not try to be too aggressive. I think at certain times it's it's hard. Obviously, right? You want to you want to stay on the attack. You want to be the aggressor in the situation, um, especially at the end of the game, like uh, we had there. You know, kind of a three-minute drive type situation where you want to stay stay in the attack and, and go win the thing. Um, so it is kind of anti-intuitive to uh, to be able to come off the gas and have. Uh, a bigger picture mentality. So uh, that's something obviously that I have to work on and, and we'll get better at as we move forward. How do you deal with a game like that, the Cincinnati game coming off that? I'm sure you're very upset with how things ended for you individually. How do you, well, what is it about you that you're able to move forward quickly? Football is a one week at a time thing. You know, you, whether it's a good game or a bad game, you can't hang on to what happened last week. Every, every week it resets. Have to learn from what you did right, what you did wrong, and move on and, and improve. So. Um, nothing really changes as far as that goes. You know, just put it behind you. Obviously, it hurts, but uh, put it behind you and get ready for the next one. How much did you and Gates talk about that being aggressive versus being conservative with how you play? It's a constant, you know, uh, battle. You know, whether whether what the situation is, how the game's going. Uh, there's a lot of different things that, that factor into that. You know, so um, it's not not one answer is going to be right for all situations throughout a game. So. You just have to be smart and, and know where you're at within the game and um, you know, find the right time to be aggressive, take a shot. And if it's not the right time, then you know, move on and, and move on to the next down. Where would you like to lean? Would it be in the middle or closer to one way or the other? I think I like to lean aggressively, and that's probably uh, what got me in some trouble last week, obviously. Um, so just need to just kind of take it back a step, take a deep breath, and, uh, and really just have a, a bigger picture mentality in that situation. Yeah, just execution. That's what it comes down to, execution. Uh, I think we have to eliminate penalties and take care of the football. You know, those, those two things will put us in the right situation. I think early on last week for, for two and a half, three quarters, we, we did a good job of executing the run game, being third and manageable, converting on third downs. Um, you know, had some opportunities on third and downs that we didn't convert and we should have. So um, just comes down to execution. If we, if we stay ahead of the chains and we don't put ourselves in second and 20 and you know, third and 17s, then, then we're going to be in good shape. So, uh, like I said, take care of the football, eliminate the dump penalties, and we'll be in good shape. Does it bother your mind? Because I looked at that game, and for three quarters, you guys looked like you were playing well. I, but there was still only one touchdown. Uh, it, it looked good, but it didn't produce good. Does Do, do you ever think about that? Yeah, we just got to finish drives. That's what it comes down to. I feel like uh, at certain points, whether – was a third down we should have converted, or uh, we were moving the ball well and then had a penalty. 
Um, just have to be able to sustain those drives and get the ball in the end zone. When you're facing a player like Mac, where's the line between being aware of him but not letting him get in your head too much and change what you guys want to do? Yeah, I think I think it's uh, all goes into the plan. You know, as far as how we build this game plan, how we go into the game of of a plan of attack, and then once you're in the game, you just have to go play. You know, it's a it's a matter of preparing, um, being aware, but then once you're playing, you just have to go play. Why is it also for you? Yeah, no question. Obviously, whenever uh, guys go down, we have to adjust a few things. So I think everybody, not just me, but I think the, the entire offense, especially Coach Gase, you know, have to adjust the way we do things. So um, it's, a, it's a battle, but it's, it's part, of the, part of playing the game. You know, we're going to have guys go down, whether it's a receiver or, or O lineman. Um, adjustments are always a part of that. So uh, we have to respond better than anybody and adjust better than anybody. So that's what we're going to do. Well, Drake's a weapon for us, you know, out of the backfield. Whether it's splitting him out on the outside or, or having him released from the backfield, he's explosive. He has good hands. He has good feel for things. So, he's definitely going to be someone who we want to get the ball to in those types of situations. You know, if we can't get the ball downfield, if number one's not there down the field, then we feel good about getting the ball in his hands and letting him create. You know, I think it was a third and 19 that he ended up getting on a first down on the unbelievable. Had a huge chip block, and then I don't know how many guys he made miss on, on his way to the first down. So. That was just a small example of, of what he can do in the pass game. So, yeah, I think the more touches he gets in those type of situations, the better we're going to be. I was, uh, saw that you and your wife announced you your Stella. How has that experience been? Oh, it's been great. It's been great. Um, you know, she's home now, all doing well. So, settling in nicely to a family of four. Yeah. Allowing you to sleep a little bit? Yeah, no question. Yeah, <laughs> thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, my wife's taking care of that. If I can follow this, he's smiling on your face. Is it, and parents always say this, no matter how rough the day is going at work, Oh, it does. It's nice. You know, obviously, uh, put a lot of time and effort and energy into to what I do here in this building. But uh, whether it's a good or bad, I go home, my little guy runs up to me, Daddy, Daddy. You know, it's uh, definitely warms your heart and it puts a smile on your face and puts things in perspective. I still feel about the, the new baby, little Oh, he's doing good. He's doing good. Yeah, he's uh, he's handling it better than I thought he would. You know, I thought he'd be a little more jealous and. Maybe a little mean to her, but he's doing uh, he's doing great. He's been really sweet to her and helping us out, so it's been a good ju adjustment so far. Let me ask this about football for one second here. Adam said to us last uh, a couple days ago, coach, he and his staff were working like 110 hours a week. These guys work too many hours. Is it, is it yeah, uh, you have to ask him if it's too many. I know they work crazy hours, and I'm, I'm constantly trying to to uh, get him to go home and sleep some, but. Uh, that's something that he's gonna. He's always gonna do what he feels like the job requires. You know, if he can work a little harder and put a little more, then he's gonna do it. So something I respect about him um, that he's gonna constantly drive to to find ways to get better, push himself, push this offense, push this team. So um, you have to respect that about him, and and I think we're better for it. Very good. Thank, right, you. thank you. Thank you. Are we going back in? Yeah. Okay. Wait, that's fine.